them come. This is their fate. All right, all right. Welcome back to the House of Wolves podcast. I'm your host, Deontay. Here are my near and dear friends, Jalen and Josh. We got more stuff to talk about, more topics, and as usual, uh, we got a lot, a pretty nice lineup, so we got some stuff to say. Uh, thanks for tuning in as always, but before we start as usual, Jalen, Josh, update the people on or where you at, how you doing, what was the Thanksgiving like, and if you don't celebrate that, what was the, I don't know, Thursday like last time? Mm-hmm. What was that? Nondescript holiday? No, yeah, it was a um, script. Yeah, for me, it was actually pretty chill. We didn't um, travel or anything because uh, I don't know, because I'm, I'm a couple of states away from my family. And if I don't plan ahead of time, it's kind of like it's it is worth it to travel, but it's a, a lot more stressful. So we just decided to stick around here, mm-hmm. um, which is cool. It's it's, you know, uh, it's getting colder, but we were able to like chill, have a good dinner um here in a warm house um yeah I'd, what about you Jalen? you know you you've been around the country in the last couple of days you know me around the world in 80 days or 90 days or whatever they be saying at that movie called but anywho uh <laughs> no nah, it was cool man my stuff my stuff was pretty smooth i um my me and my two brothers and then my um yeah me and my two brothers and my nephew we all had went to visit my mom over like in uh in like DC, Maryland, Virginia area. And we had a good Thanksgiving over there. Um you know, I ain't I ain't somebody that cook. Like if you ever come to my crib, it's bare bone eats here. But um <laughs> y'all better ask about my sweet potato. Man. I was in the kitchen, like, you know, Chef Boyd R D, I'm in that mother going down. I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, my- Hey, I'm over here getting my mom tips on sweet potato. I'm like, I don't know. That might be too much water. That might be too much water. You know, I make these like just trust trust the process. The boys came out glistening and stuff. I'm like, I'm like, man, these sweet potatoes kind of cold. Like, I'm like, man, how they taste? I'm like, hey, hey them is cold. So, yeah, man, but uh, yeah, it was cool, man. Our nephew is there. He's begging me to play Apex. I'm like, let me play the game too, man. Like, mm-hmm. I want, I ain't, you know, you've been playing Roblox all day. Me, can I play the game? You got some games on your phone. That's what he said. <laughs> Bugging me, man. But I love old dude. Um, but yeah, everything was good, man. And then my holidays, you know, kind of got a little bit, a little. Tr- I ain't gonna say trash. Got a little bit costly. What you mean? But somebody wanted me to buy something. <laughs> but I'm gonna say that for a little bit later on. <laughs> oh my god! Whatever. But, uh, yeah, everything was good. We all got blessed this uh, past uh, holiday, you know. Uh, my birthday fall around that time, so it was um, it was pretty smooth. I mean, I didn't really do nothing for my birthday outside of uh, get some get some cake from from um, my wife made me a cake. That was about it. So yeah, uh, and. Yeah, I ain't really want nothing for my birthday this year. I just kind of took in the fact that I, I, I bought a property. So that was pretty much just chill, re, uh, refresh, and uh, get back to it. But, you know, the holidays was nice. Actually, the wife still cooked. And, uh, she, yeah, she, she she made a pretty good meal. Over that. And it wasn't pretty good. It was really good. But um, all I did was mash the potatoes. But I helped. I helped in some way, shape, or form. And I did the cleanup, so I cleaned all the dishes. But that was about it. But we had some yams. We had the mac and cheese. We had the turkey. We had dressing. We had uh, cranberry sauce, y'all, mashed potatoes. Y'all came uh, a long way from those uh, <laughs> those friends' givens we used to have. <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember those. I still, I remember. Yeah, I, yeah, I remember those. That was that was a that was interesting times. Uh, I, I, when our fan who, friend who joined the Navy uh, went cooking the chicken all the way. <laughs> Man, not cooking the chicken all the way. Yeah, that was, yeah, just, that was a little tough. That was a little tough. I remember when they were, we were, we were, we were barbecuing 
And man, ain't nobody yeah. know how to start a fire. <laughs> that boy was looking, looking hurt. And then, <laughs> then when they finally got it going, that boy was too hot. That boy came out burnt. I was like, man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we we need we need a good uncle to come through for that one, but with the slides on, but we ain't had nobody but ourselves. So we we made it work, but nah, it's uh definitely came a long way. But Karina, Karina always knew how to cook. She just I don't know. Uh, it was it, she got she got a little she got definitely got a lot better at just uh, time wise because she used to take a long time so and she did it over a couple of days so she didn't stress herself out and it came out mm-hmm. good so uh, that's what we did and I I ain't really buy nothing for Black Friday did y'all buy anything for um Black Friday? No, I ain't buy nothing. Yeah, I ain't really buy nothing either. Um, I mean, I bought uh, I buy no two teams. games. Yeah, I bought like two games, but um, that was about it. I didn't really buy anything else. One of the topics that I did want to talk about, which which is interesting, because if you guys listening to this, you might be able to still get it. It's like a Black Friday sale going on for uh, Google Stadia, which we're gonna talk about a little bit later too. But overall, holiday was nice, chill. Did not go see the family, um, but they we FaceTime and we had a conversation. It was good times anyway. But uh, moving forward, because now we got that real interest in it. That's where, how we really got blessed this week. <laughs> Audra, go yeah. ahead and talk about it. Dre, let go ahead and talk about it, man. We've been on this little journey for a good a year now, man. We've been on this journey for a long goddamn time. That's a good goddamn time, ain't it? No, oh, we went on journey long enough. <laughs> and it was a long journey. This is a long journey. This is like a whole story. This is like a breakdown. He was, he was kinda, uh, sitting out the conversation. He was like, man, I gotta <laughs> gotta get in there and see what I'm missing. Nah. <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, Josh and his mother, like, I'm gonna just all right, so look, man, check it out. Um <laughs> check it out. So Deontay, his, his, his just says birthday pass by Thanksgiving. Um mm-hmm. He like, hey, bro, get Walmart Plus, blah, 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 because they dropping Xboxes. You know, the whole time, I'm in that mode. Like, I ain't copping the Xbox if y'all kept up on the episodes and stuff like that. So I'm like, uh, I just got a new credit card and stuff like that. I need to hit this limit amount to sign in, give me some bandos, you know. So I was like, I could try to maybe get an Xbox. And then I've been partaking in, like, bank promotions and stuff like that to put some money in my pocket because, you know, they scare, the, it's scarce. There ain't no money in here, so... I'm doing bank promos. I'm starting to renege after getting some of that money, boy. Man, I could go do something else with this money, like buy some cakes. <laughs> so I was like, all right, um, I ain't gonna do that, man. So he was like, come on, man, it's my birthday present. They gonna drop some Xboxes the whole time. I don't believe in it because the box they got the game on lock. So we basically get on Walmart, get Walmart Plus, or whatever. He paid me for it because I mean, what I look like wasting thirteen dollars that I don't got <laughs> to attempt to get an Xbox. You feel me? So. We in that mud waiting. I'm at work, bro. Like, hey, Jay, gonna where you at? I'm looking like, man, hold on. I got to debrief over my exam real quick. Some, some of the Xbox is finna drop, but y'all need to know that part. So <laughs> get in line for the Xbox. Didn't get it. So we use Josh platform <laughs> to see what's going on because it's the fastest platform, which is Twitter. Deontay don't use it. I don't use it. Just try I do use Twitter, <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, man, Twitter, they, they quick with it, though. So I'm like, I'm on Twitter like... Hey, yeah, Deontay, some, some. We on the phone talking, like, because the basically the Xbox said they're gonna drop in like thirty minutes, blah blah. You online, and we was on one minute for like ten minutes, and I just gave up because I'm like the bots probably already winning. So, get on Twitter. They saying some, some people that basically Microsoft uh, slaves or friends or BFFs, which is not I, but you know Deontay got a long <laughs> allegiance to Microsoft. He got that. Oh. He got it. Is like if you. Mess with Microsoft the long way. You might have got an email that gave you opportunity to buy an Xbox bundle. So he checked his email. He was like, hey, J-Boy, they on here, man. You might have to pay a little bit more money, but they on here. I'm just like, man, I do not want an Xbox. And then they want to pair up an elite controller that I don't care about. And then they put GTA of all games on there for $30. The the, the grand ultimate, re- the fifth re- release version of it with everything in it. 
You know what I'm saying? I don't even know nothing about GTA because I don't play the game. I just know they came out the game like 30 times. So, long story short, I used my new credit card to get the Xbox. I had to let out a screen because I felt like I was getting beat <laughs> before he, he ran that transaction, man. I was just like, man, I guess I got the Xbox and there's a fat charge on my bank account. I'm scratching my head looking at them like every day. Like, man. Man, what are you talking about? You been but they, blessed, man. But what they over here. Happy. About? Hey, and then today, Josh was like, "Hey, did an Xbox ship yet?" I'm like, "Man, don't worry about that. This ain't got nothing to do with you." <laughs> did an Xbox ship yet? I'm like, "Bro, what?" I ain't even asking that. Did an Xbox ship yet? I seen that message. He's like, it be all kind, man. You're supposed to hope that mug got canceled for me. Got to make sure that mug don't uh, come up missing. <laughs> I, had a I ain't, I ain't even see it, home. man. It did fall off, bro. And I was just like, hey, that mug might have got canceled. I was jumping for joy in that mug. <laughs> so long story short, I got an Xbox. Man. Yeah, long story short, man's got an Xbox, y'all. And we've been blessed. As we, we, we highly favor. We happy. We joyous. Only one that ain't happy is <laughs> Man, I don't even got no games to play on there. You talking yeah, about yes, my you old do. Games. Get Game Pass, man. Get Game Pass. Man, you talking about Sonic. He was like, yeah, some, some. I seen Sonic Unleashed, but I think that's Jalen like, Thumbway. Man, I bought Sonic Unleashed back when I was in 11th grade, bro. That was like 2011. I'm like, yeah, I did. That's like the only game y'all had downloaded on my Xbox. That and Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. Man, but we ain't we talking about the benefits, man. We ain't talking about one singular game. We talking about plenty of benefits, man. That's all it was. We trying to let you know what you got into. Yeah, you know I mean, you take them information however you will. I'm just telling you. I mean, it's on there. They got an update. It's looking nice. That's all that is. Well, my internet's still slow, so. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot all about his internet. Oh my god, that junk still slow. Don't I? Hey, you might as well update it at home. Then take that mug up to Chicago. All right, if we're depending on when that mug come, I mean, it might come. Maybe if it come this week or something like that, I might be able to have it by this weekend. But mm -hmm. my dad's supposed to come up here uh, next weekend, so we'll oh. see. But I don't know yet, though. Okay, yeah, okay, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's looking real up to uh, at this point, y'all. We are gonna have some some real Xbox conversations going around. <laughs> here. we gonna have some some true and blue Xbox conversations, ain't that right, J Wood? Huh? <laughs> true and blue. <laughs> we gonna have some real true conversations, but uh, we uh, first thing we kind of wanted to talk about was simply. Again, and Jalen getting his Xbox, and some of the uh, you know those those un those un those uh undervalued uh, what we call uh what you, undervalued features that he's not going to get. My man's was running on that uh PS4 Pro. The load times was atro uh, atrocious, so he he, he don't got to oh, deal with that no more, huh? What games are they atrocious on besides GTA? <laughs> the games you don't play. The games you don't. So you talking about the load times I'm not experiencing. <laughs> and wasn't going to experience. You talking about them ones? Yep, those ones right there. So oh, the load okay. times he wasn't experiencing. He played for blood. Yeah, he played back for blood. He was glitching no. across the whole screen. He couldn't even play the game. That's the, a game the... fast now. You can play that. And I know Sonic got... They said Sonic had a long load time. Sonic Colors? Man, I ain't, I ain't had no issues. I was straight. I mean, I we we talking to people that got PCs that's upgraded and all that type of stuff. You can't want better if you don't know better. I'm like, as long as I ain't sitting in the screen for 30 seconds, I'm good. Like, you know, they probably won't. Man, if they that screen is sitting there for six seconds, bro, how you tolerate that? Mine go in four seconds. Once you, you know get what I'm used I'm to it, you get familiar with it. You ain't gonna want to go back. If you got the newest iPhone, you gonna go back to four generations and go? No. So once you get used to it, it's gonna they be all normal. run the same. They don't run the same. So you they you, do run the same. It's so like tell the, your it's, phone it's go buy like a fourth the, generation phone. Well, go I need to make sure. IPhone phone, on, me finish. iPhone five, and take back your other one. Man, you you know how technology works, bro. Yeah, I know. 
That's what I'm saying. So, Same way it's this, this going technology works. So, But it's going to come a point in time where this thing got long goal times, too, when we progress further on. Nah, probably not. The anyway, technology ain't, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't, no, ain't no technology out there that's like that's better right now. Once technology gets out there, more than likely, yes. But the load times—that's what I'm talking about. But they, they on that, they not. It's gonna be load times then non-existent. That's what this. That's the next step. It's not really another faster load time than two seconds. It's gonna be literally just no loads. That's a different Man. type of memory. That's a different type of space. So that's not. That's not the same. But so anyway, what I'm getting at is, <laughs> if you go back to the old iPhone, these apps don't work no better. Oh, for real, uh-huh. for real. At the time that they was released, and when you get to like the newer stuff, mm-hmm. when you start putting newer mm-hmm. stuff on older phones, mm-hmm. then it start acting a little stupid. Mm-hmm. So I ain't basically what I'm saying is I ain't never experienced that because I think the mo the first game I seen with bad old times was Sonic on Xbox 360, and I didn't realize it was bad old times because I ain't know better. I was just like, man, this game do take a little bit of time to load, man, but I don't really like that, but. And then, anyway, um, sound like you want to pop in <laughs> GTA Five right now, saying ain't low times ain't an issue. No, nah, we 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 agreed that I'm saying that when I first became aware of low times for real, for real, like and it was a problem. Was like, actually, it's Crash Bandicoot the Rat the Cortex on PS2 low times was like, all right, bro, like I don't, just kind of dumb. And then I started seeing uh, what was that junk called Sonic Sonic um the Hedgehog on 360. Everybody knew that was horrible. Um, I started seeing forums about it. Then we started playing GTA, and I started seeing that. I was just like, yeah, bro. Uh, some got to give, man. Some got to give. This is Anywho, Jalen also does not like to uh, buy games. So this is another benefit. If he buys just that Game Pass subscription, he's going to be able to play something more than just Apex Um on the daily so it, it gets him the ability to at least try something different even if he doesn't have the 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 capacity or the time to do so he will have the availability of games outside of apex so another benefit for Jalen. uh another benefit what, what you got what you got josh i know i know he ain't gonna care That's about it. the 4k I mean, you he know ain't care you know Jalen always talking about Man, why this game so look scratchy? <laughs> so yeah, the sixty FPS, he gonna finally have a he gonna he finally see the benefit of that. He has the ability to go one twenty if if we want to go that far, but with you know, now to keep my expectations low. <laughs> uh Jalen trying to get used to the the sixty and he ain't about to buy a new TV. <laughs> Man, uh, Y'all see how they trying to sell me? They like, yeah, get a new TV, get Game Pass, get more games, get the... But you Xbox don't even need it. Go. You still get the benefits. You get three controllers because if you can play, if you use three controllers, your game run better. Well, all right. <laughs> Ain't nobody said that. They, they, trying to ups, they trying to upsell me. Ain't nobody trying to upsell you. We just trying to let you know how to take your benefit. The full advantage of your system, man. The pockets. You man, know. Listen, and then what, what, what we got? It's just... It's just the, the 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 value that comes along with being able to play your 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 back catalog. I don't even know if you hold on to your back catalog, but you have a back catalog that's now available to you as some to some extent or degree that you can. Three sixty games. Yeah. Mm, Backwards compatible. <laughs> Man, Backwards I, compatible. I knew he was. Stop the cap, Jalen. What <laughs> did you buy Sonic Colors? What generation did that come out? Sonic Colors is on the Wii. Okay, so yeah, that's the Wii it? 360 PS3 generation. You rebought it for and you play premium it. dollars. And don't talk. Yeah. Don't even get me started on that Crash Bandicoot. What's wrong with Crash Bandicoot? You rebought it. Oh, you talking? Yeah, but that that game was only forty dollars. That was a good. That was a good collection. <laughs> Okay. They, well, they got that on Game Pass. Yeah, I guess it's. I guess it's the because because it was a remake. I can let that one pass. But Sonic Colors was they, just. They got it on Game Pass. No, not Crash. Oh, uh, yeah, you almost have your go happy. <laughs> <laughs> they got your. They got your. They got your uh, trash uh, Kingdom Hearts though. But you played that to the death. So. Yeah, I'm done with Kingdom Hearts, bro. But Sonic Colors, I mean. 
I don't know. I didn't. I didn't ever like fully play Sign of Color, so that's why I bought it, and it was like thirty dollars. Yeah, uh, and now you're in a situation where you got more than one option. You could buy it for thirty, forty dollars at GameStop, or if they drop it on Game Pass sometime soon, you can just wait for it for Game Pass. Yeah, I already got it on my PS4 though. Well, yeah, that specific game you already bought it. I'm just saying. Uh, in general, yeah. in the future, you have more options now. In the future, sir, Game Pass is uh generally more uh forgivable when it comes to what games you have to buy or you want to buy in that that may be available a different way game pass uh Man, but i'm playing final fantasy 13 as soon as i get that don't ask me about that. yeah it's I'm on game playing. pass i'm playing 13 don't ask me. <laughs> they bumped it to 4k so it's gonna look a lot better and you can uh import your old saves if you still got them am i gone bro somebody uh what happened? I think you're like something happened on my Xbox where I like overwrite it or it did something yeah. dumb, bro. And I lost <laughs> all my stuff, man. I was heated, but um, it's cool. Bartanos could see me one more time, <laughs> running up on him. I had a couple of behemoth kings, they used thunder on me. Oh my god, but uh, yeah, there's plenty to do, there's plenty to see. Uh, you obviously you're gonna have access to a lot of different more more features more benefits and um that's all that is to it you just and when you get it enjoy it don't don't it's not a burden yeah, that's what it's not gonna be what it ain't gonna be is a burden what it is gonna be is a joyous occasion once you get it once you see it once you get it in your get it in uh, your living space and you turn it on and you see those benefits i want you to enjoy yourself and not you know feel like you've been got <laughs> ain't nobody got you it's just, you know, it's just friends trying to help out friends. That's all this is. I don't want to feel like, you know, this one side. We got to have this we go both ways, G. You know, you know my mom said when I told her, I didn't even want to tell her. You see, you bought another one of those stupid tail games. I'm like, Ma, look, I know what this sounds like, but be assured that I had bank promo to make me some money to afford these. Oh, I didn't, my God. I didn't theoretically spend any money out of my pocket. I'm just have to pay taxes on these promos. That's it. Man, there's plenty of there's plenty of benefits to playing games, man. That's just that's just that's just facts. You don't got it. It ain't it ain't you know 2002 no more. There's plenty of ways to make money on these games. So, uh, but yeah, I'm happy. Obviously, y'all can tell. Uh, but you know, Jalen gonna get there. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Man, that, like, that put a damper on my holiday. My sweet potatoes tasted a little like sweeter. I'm like, man, these sweet potatoes oh is crazy. I bought the Xbox. They got a little bitter. What's going on? Yeah, man. right. You ain't got to play Elden Ring at uh, what, 35 FPS? Yeah, like 35 FPS, man. Go and play. <laughs> Go and run through that Dark Souls again at that 60. Make you feel better. Dark Souls man. is already 60, wasn't it? Not on no. PS4. No. Dark Souls 3 wasn't uh 60? Nope, it came out at 30, and then when the Pro came out, they bumped it up to 45, but it was never actually 60. Oh, my eyes ain't adjusted, so. I thought it moved it a little bit smoother, though, for sure. It definitely it, was. It was smoother, but it oh, wasn't. God. It wasn't, but it was still, you know, skipping frames. Anyway, 60 FPS is where it's at, and that's what you're going to be seeing at this in the future, so just be, get your eyeballs prepared for that. I know you like it because you only when you go play other games you be like this junk trash. Especially if you can't even play can't even play Destiny no more because it's, it's just scratchy for you. But I ain't gonna play that anyway. But still, yeah, that junk looked horrible, bro. I'm like <laughs> horrible, 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 horrible. The guy they updated that game. Yeah, they did, man. I'm so happy. That's when I start playing it again. Then I don't know the game trash again. So. No. All right, so what, what game y'all want? What, what, what? So when I get my Xbox, what, what game do y'all want me to hop on, man? Halo Infinite, immediately. You can hop on Halo. Uh, you mean like multiplayer or just on your own? Oh, y'all happy about the Xbox, man? Y'all said some things, but y'all ain't telling me what game y'all wanted me to play. Halo Infinite. And the number one game we playing right now is Apex, and number two is Halo. And once you hop on Halo, we're gonna be playing that. Exactly. That's the no. only multiplayer game that people actually play that's not cross-platform with yeah. PlayStation. 
Everything else, Warzone, all the other stuff, is on platform. PlayStation. It just you just gonna have a better experience playing them, but you're just not gonna have your back catalog of PlayStation Four games, which PlayStation suck anyway because they don't give you free upgrades. So who cares? Um, nah. so it really don't matter about your back catalog unless they're like PlayStation games, but most of your PlayStation games you probably don't even have anymore. If you do have some, you ain't playing them no more. I got Daisy My Hacker's Memory, Final Fantasy VII, Uncharted Four, Sonic Colors, Modern Warfare, Dragon Ball Fighters, Kakarot, and Kingdom Hearts Two Point Eight. Game physical. Pass. Kingdom Hearts is on Game Pass. What was else on there? So you, you got some of those games, but like you ain't getting rid of your PS4 for now, anyways, right? So. No, I'm keeping my PS4. I ain't getting rid of that till I get a PS5. Yeah, that's what I mean. So, so you got it, man. You got it. You got it, man. You just, you just, you just, you gotta, you know, find the the the, the needs and the wants in there, and then you, then it's all good. But the first game, obviously, is gonna be Halo, because there really isn't much that you will play. I mean, I really enjoy Forza, but you ain't finna get on no car game. You ain't finna waste your time with that. So. There's really only game that we can play that you might you would probably find enjoyment in is Halo for now. Um, until unless we want to try like some of the older games that have come out that we didn't try because we didn't want to pay for them. Um, like Outriders is on there, but I don't know if we're gonna play that. So and then there's that Back for Blood, but we didn't like it. We, we might run through the campaign. That they was updated we wanted to talk end. about. But that's, uh... <laughs> oh, ain't that uh, game y'all was mad about the game? <laughs> nope, <laughs> nope, nah, 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 that wasn't nope. the one. That wasn't the one. That wasn't that the one at all. I woke up in the morning. <laughs> it's like forty messages about them pissed off about they lose the data. And, hey, it's just still going on. Help, please, SOS. Man, they, I don't watch. They had a couple updates. Man. man, they got a couple updates. What you talk about, man? Yeah, right. That's that game will never got my time again. <laughs> there's, there's, there's plenty of games out there, man. Plenty of games for us to try out. Plenty of games for us to uh, take a look at. So, uh, man, we, we I have, forget that. That's eight a.m. Y'all arguing about that game, saying <laughs> it. Oh, all I heard was distress in the chat, bro. No, nah, it was Saturday morning distress. It was not like no real distress. It was just more so annoyance. Annoyance distress. with the game. We took, we put it down. As soon as we saw it was happening, we put it down. We, we said we was going to wait because we liked the game and we yeah. didn't want to ruin it. So we're going to come back once it's ready. <laughs> exactly. So I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what you're sipping on, but that's exactly what it happened, man. Him in distress, bro. I seen it was distressing <laughs> him. I seen pain in them messages, bro. I'm like, dang, bro. It's a good thing. Mommy told these dudes to get on Apex, man. Now's a good time. <laughs> Stop on Apex, fellas. I. Mm-hmm. No, nah, that that ain't how that went. We just we just was having a rough go at it, and uh, we had to we had to calm ourselves. Um, it's pain and suffering. I mean, there's plenty of games on there that you can try. I don't even think you played Control. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Control. You got Hades. Yeah, it's uh, Hades on there. Shell. If you want to play Doom, um, if you want to play. You know, they got fighters in on there, so you don't you ain't gonna lose nothing from that point of view if you trying to play that. Yeah, I fall in order. Is is Fighter Z crossplay? No, never mind. It's not. Nope. Okay. But we all get it on like Xbox. Yeah. And you know, there's you know, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. <laughs> if you're trying to play that. But Halo Infinite really is mm-hmm. the the key component there. You ain't gonna play no Hellblade. You ain't playing no Fighters outside of Fighter Z. You ain't gonna play no uh, Knockout City, which I actually quite enjoyed. You ain't gonna play no Marvel Avengers, which is on Game Pass. I don't even think you wanted to play Shadow War. Uh, Star Wars is on here still if you was trying to play that. Uh, Mortal Shell just got put on there if that's another Soul Light game if you wanted to play that. But there's, like I said, plenty. They got record. Yeah, they got record on here. 
you know, from Outriders, Play Dead. They got Ori and uh, uh, Will of the Wisp, which is a really good 2D platformer. But I don't know if you play 2D platformers. Um, they got Psychonauts 2. They got Battlegrounds if you wanted to play PUBG, which I don't think nobody want to play that now. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they got Resident Evil 7, but I don't think you play any of those types of games. Uh, it was a really big hype game called Scarlet Nexus. I don't think you're going to play that either. It's an RPG. Um, light. SSX. Star Wars. Yeah, man. This mug go on for a little bit. Anyways, point of, the, point of the story is you got games to play. And if you wanted to play something, you could definitely top throw on that Titanfall 2. <laughs> <laughs> you know you don't want to play that either it's like a whole bunch of good stuff that he don't want to play but that's what it is G. uh so let the let the game they ain't playing it unless they got a blue hedgehog in it yeah man he ain't playing it because they got a blue hedgehog in it which is, which is crazy man I thought they had the Crash Bandicoot collection on there man at 60 frames I was going to be happy no nah, they ain't got that man you never know it might show up one day they could possibly put it on there, to be honest, yeah. But nah. They got Overwatch. Know. Overwatch on there? Uh, no, I don't think so. Overwatch. No, but Overwatch is already sixty FPS. Yeah. And it's crossplay now. So you don't really need to play it on there. <clears throat> it's already sixty. Mm -hmm. If if it was scratchy and you was playing at thirty, I'm gonna say that. But um. It's crossplay. Yep, because we was I was playing on the PC and Josh was on the uh, Xbox. So yeah, pretty sure it's crossplay. Okay. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Only thing that ain't crossplay, well, that ain't cross save. It's Apex because I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. That PlayStation gonna be less utilized once that mug happen. But I don't know when it's gonna happen. Um, cause I ain't really been playing nothing on the yeah. PlayStation. Only thing I got oh. right now is Ratchet. I'm going to play that, but that's about it. And I'm waiting to off this PlayStation. I just need my <laughs> Warframe transferred. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That's that sacrificial lamb right there. I don't think... Is they planning on doing that for Warframe? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't know. Something's wrong with PlayStation. Every time it comes to them with the cross save, it's like a, it's like a hassle. So I, I'd be surprised if Apex even gets it. And they allow PlayStation to do it. I'm, I'm. It might be just PC, Nintendo, and and Xbox. I, I doubt PlayStation allows it because PlayStation's some weirdos. But whatever. That's the one I chose to play on. Yeah, that's the one I chose to play on. So I gotta deal with they garbage. They got big headed. Yeah. Yep. 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 Um. But what? The other things that we want to talk about, because I didn't want to talk about the Xbox all day. That's the that's the that's the big one though. Uh, we wanted to also talk about uh, Halo, Apex, um, pretty much. Uh, I know you, I know Josh probably gonna hold up, uh, run the helm on it. Arcane League of Legends. No, uh, no. Nah. <laughs> nah? Well, I ain't I ain't got nothing on it either. I did watch Hawkeye, which is pretty nice, and then. Mm. Uh, Spider-Man Adventure. <laughs> I guess we could talk start with the scratchy um uh, start with that scratchy Spider-Man Avengers, man. Did you see that video I sent yesterday, Jayla? In the chat. The link you sent yesterday. Oh uh, Spider-Man, I I resend it. Oh, I think uh, I did. Or was that yesterday? Might it was have like been two like days been. Might two days ago. Might be like two days ago. Uh but basically the Avengers game um they when they announced it like what a year or two ago it was like mm -hmm. um you know people i don't know i wasn't excited for it but people were excited for it to play the story and then a little bit after they announced that spider-man is going to be a playstation exclusive and everybody was mad about that because like if this is a fun game it's supposed to be like an online loot game you got one of the you know most popular characters ever locked to one platform and that sucks but uh recently they just showed off the trailer because i think he's supposed to come out this week 
um, for Spider-Man. So I think originally, because the Avengers came out, uh, the game didn't do so well. People wasn't really playing it. And then uh, they delayed their DLC for like, one, they delayed Spider-Man. He was supposed to come out sooner. And then they delayed Black Panther because Chadwick died. And so now this year we finally got all the DLC. The Black Panther DLC came out. It was pretty decent. Now Spider-Man coming out. And Spider-Man doesn't look like it was even finished. Like it was thrown together like in two months. And it was like, here y'all go. Because he don't got a story mode. Whereas Black Panther had a whole campaign with cutscenes and a whole bunch of new stuff added to the game. It was like an expansion. Spider-Man don't have cutscenes. He just got like audio logs you can com- collect and like comic book pages. Um, his animations and combat just look goofy. Um, here, let me. See. And then uh, he was he was shooting out them pea shooters. Pew 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 pew. pew there you go, Dylan. <laughs> yeah, because everybody got a a, a ranged attack, so you, you got to fight flying enemies. <laughs> And his, he looked like um, those Facebook videos of like people dressed up as Spider Man at little little kid birthday. <laughs> Let's and I don't, I don't know. I heard Guardians is uh, really good. People enjoyed it, but Square Enix overall with their Marvel stuff has just been hit or miss. And this is a, another big miss. Uh, Spider Man was the reason a lot of people bought the game on PlayStation because, you know, this is like a. I guess he is a PlayStation character, technically, because he's, you know, they got the rights to him. So this is just a weird way to, like, mess up uh, character people up. I just think that um, people are, like, this is like the first Spider Man outside of Miles Morales and. You know, Spider Man from PlayStation, and they're really good Spider Mans. So even though it could be passable, they're comparing it to that. So it will never work. This is just scratchy, regardless. But I don't think people will be so mad at it <laughs> if it wasn't like in that same space, like a real modeled Spider Man in this. And if Insomniac never existed with theirs, it'd probably be fine. But because they did, it's like set the bar extremely high. And they come out with this garbage. So they they pretty much didn't have a really a, a real chance of winning unless they really got Insomniac involved to kind of create this the, the motion and like how he worked or whatever yeah. in the case they may have done. But um, that engine don't look like it's that capable, to be honest. Um and it's not that fluid for that type of character, but it seems like they have these stagnant animations that they put together. It's not like a streamlined animation style, like, you know, like, like those games were made to be, where it's like these, these, um, these, um, piece together animations where, where it really flows and it's like really fluid. Um, but this is just not it. So it, it makes sense uh, as to what all the backlash is. Plus, as you stated, it doesn't really have any good DLC with it. It's just really him as a character in like some special small event. But he doesn't have a story or anything like that. And <laughs> yeah. So if you bought Avengers for that exclusive, <laughs> it really looks pretty sad at this point. You're like, bro, I, I didn't have to buy this. I could have bought it somewhere else because this right here is pretty garbage, but. Um, yeah, and if you're waiting sucks. for the Spider-Man to come out to play it, yeah, this ain't the reason to play it. <laughs> that was one of the reasons why I bought it on the PlayStation because I was like, might as well because it's gonna have Spider-Man, and yeah, I mean, I I ended up never playing the game really anyway, which is more of an L in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, I mean, this is this is, this would be pretty disappointing if this was the actual situation. So, uh. Scratchy, a scratchy RS right here. And it, 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 I mean, what could they have done to make him in this world better? Because the open spaces, the, the animation style, the stiffness of the character. Because remember, I kept saying that the characters feel stiff, they don't feel fluid, right? 
I was always saying that about all the characters. It wasn't not one character. It was all the characters feel stiff. He's such a movement character. It just makes it so much worse because he's like a big movement character. So they didn't ramp it up. They made the animations feel the same. And they connect the same. They the timing's the same. So he just do a lot more within that timing, you know. Like and within that animation, he does a lot more movement, but it just looks even worse because it's like a more movement at the slow pace. So hmm. if they were allowed to do more with the character, like budget wise or like time wise, mm-hmm. I think they could have done it. But like you said, like they have their template for the characters that they got to pretty much stick to to like mm-hmm. keep everybody balanced and their abilities flowing together and stuff. Um. The animations, I just feel like, are the the animations and the lack of content are, I guess, the two worst parts. Because, like, even though the animations are like stiff, they could be a whole lot better. Because, like, even the um, ultimate, what was it? Um, the game that came on the Switch, the Ultimate Alliance. Oh, Marvel. Like, all the Spider Man, right yeah, characters in there, like, they have real good animations. Like, you can tell that he's he doing all these flips and super flexible and stuff like that mm-hmm. and they don't you know they ain't got insomniac money but they still made him look good how he's supposed to be but now this just looks like some person <laughs> in a spider-man suit <laughs> kicking people <laughs> yeah they're trying to do look horrible now. That, 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 like the generic boy that that, that one you buy for the uh the, the, ho- the halloween party or the uh the, yeah your, your, the son, halloween your, party. Son, your son's birthday party yeah. Like, yeah, do some tricks. You're like, pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Bro, that John horrible. That boy looks scratchy. Uh, but yeah, man, I think um, Marvel ain't gonna catch no breaks. Um, Avengers um, was is a pretty bad game at this point. Um, I don't think it's really not much that you can do to kind of turn it around. Um, they really have to have like a long year of good of good will before people really want to get back into it as of now it's just it's just forgettable it's easy to forget and it's easy to just move on so um at this point i don't see myself jumping back in at all i played some of the black panther um i liked his little his how his went um at least the parts that i did play i just felt like it was pointless because i'm not gonna play any further so I probably should just get that experience and fi- fully and just stop. But I just was like, um, once I finish this, what am I going to do? Am I going to continue to play? Probably not. Am I going to make other people play? Probably not. So I just stopped. So, I mean, it, it, I could I could go back in just to finish that experience, finish that story and see what it's like. Um, but so much time has passed. So many good games have come out. I just don't see the point anymore. And um, it's unfortunate because I paid money for it and it's digital. So that's a super L, but um, it's whatever. I will at some point try it or if it ever gets good, I have a copy. That's all I can say. I don't even, And I, I think it's a game pass. That really sucked. Um, but and yeah, I have it on two platforms and I didn't play that much. So it's not like I lose a lot or whatever so yeah that's what it is for uh avengers at this point uh they they kind of ruined it for themselves but hopefully at some point they can turn it around make it a little bit better speaking of ruining things um and i wouldn't say ruined but it's definitely like annoying we don't want it. We, we don't want to put too much spice on it yet because you know Jalen ain't played it and we need we still need him to try it but that Halo event, uh, for this, uh, this time around, um, yeah, let's talk about it, Josh. What you, what do you think about this event? Um, what do you think? Does, does it add anything? Um, what would you, what did you like about it? What you don't like about it? Give me some thoughts. No um, particular order. Yeah, I'll I'll say that the event is like the ten ride something um, challenge to get like the special samurai uh, themed armor. 
um but you got to play like fiesta you complete like certain bounties to to get points or whatever mm-hmm. overall the event is pretty trash because of how they've decided to roll it out whereas like this event will because like all games have like timed events like uh apex you know they got this whatever event uh mm-hmm. apex market for two weeks and you gotta play you know not every day but play like half of the time that it's available and you you'll unlock all the stuff whereas this event is all was only available for one week and it's going to come back um in a couple of weeks so you can jump in again but you can't like complete everything in one week you can only do like uh, a quarter of the progress in one week so that means and when they bring it back in three weeks you have to jump in in order to be able to keep progressing uh, and as it is right now, let's say you, you stop playing for like a month and you miss two of the events, then it's like, how are you actually ever going to complete this event? So until they come back and speak about it and talk about how they're going to boost, like do like a catch up mechanic, it's pretty trash as far as being limited, how, how you level up. The other thing is the actual rewards are okay. And mm-hmm. like, it's a bunch of like boosters and like um challenge swaps but the actual armor is not that like great but all the good stuff is all sold for like twenty dollars a pop on the uh on the store which you know we play apex so we we i'm personally used to that like they be asking for 35 dollars for like skin yes. but yeah it's still not good uh when games do that they offer you like some trash stuff for free and then you want the good stuff give us you know give me your credit card um personally though i still had a lot of fun with it like i liked playing fiesta um it's a it was a fun game mode mm-hmm. and i actually hate the samurai armor like i i think it looks oh. ugly so <laughs> i don't even care about unlocking it yeah Cause like they they added weird stuff like this in the Master Chief Collection where like you can dress up as like a Roman Spartan, mm-hmm. but it's just weird because like Halo is supposed to be like a space game. It, I guess kind of like Destiny. Like I hate when they started adding like just weird stuff to Destiny. Like nobody wants to be a snowman or something like that. Just <laughs> I'm trying to dress up, you know, in my space suit. <laughs> you talking about you, t- you talking about that dressing dresses uh, uh, coat? You talking about when they when they had that? <laughs> Yeah, that uh, the the bubble coat on there. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Um, so I would never use it, even when I unlocked it. But I understand that some people like it, or you just want to unlock it because it's mm-hmm. it's part of the progress of the game. But there are all these barriers stopping you from doing it, and they want too much money to like just buy the stuff. Yeah, personally, I never wear the stuff that they got, but it's like a limited, and that makes me want to say, "Oh, I got it," in case I ever want to wear it. But I never plan on wearing any of that stuff because I think it is also. Now, the one that they showed off before, like the hat, like the the actual uh, helmets, I like. It's yeah. like this separate one that they have. It's like a helmet. Um, I like those, and I was probably gonna put one of those on, but um, I wasn't gonna wear the full fit. It just doesn't. But, um, yeah, I agree that it is ugly armor um, in regards to just that base thing. Um, some of the plates look better, but the base armor is ugly. <laughs> I don't like how they do their system for armor, to be honest. I just feel like it's Oh, it's yeah, that's the other thing. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's a waste of time, and I feel like they are splitting things up for you, make you chase more things when it's not necessary. If you have a good team of cosmetic individuals and people that can make cosmetics often, that's really nice. They should be able to stand alone. But I feel like I'm paying twenty five dollars or twenty dollars for pieces, and that's just that's that that just feels even worse. So um, I don't know how they gonna fix that. Easy way to fix that is to actually give you a full set of everything. Um, and I understand that they're giving you armor jackets so you can wear that mm-hmm. jacket and then you can put pieces on top of it. And that makes sense, but at the same time, I feel like I'm being robbed because I got to go find these and get these other jackets too. Which, I mean, not yeah, the jackets, I feel but like the actual pieces, you know. The best thing would just be able to 
freely equip and mix and match or whatever you feel like right want. Yeah. yeah but i i doubt that they're fully going to go that way i don't know if there are limitations or they just don't want to do it but i doubt that's going to happen but at least they should be doing what destiny did all the time which they know you got three characters so they let you use some of the stuff between the characters like the shaders should oh, yeah, all be yeah, yeah. usable on every single armor core like it shouldn't be locked to a single one that's dumb um yeah same thing with other stuff like some accessories or whatever just let if i'm gonna spend 15 dollars on the samurai sword well, let me put the samurai sword on whichever one i want because if you're paying money for it there shouldn't be any limitations on it you know you're right so, yeah I, I agree i think it's um st pretty stupid but We'll, we'll see what happens. It, it is disappointing, like I said. I don't want to, you know, give um, Jalen a bad idea that we don't like the game. We like the game. It's just that these mechanics and some things need to be ironed out. They need to get better. So, um, I think you put it, you said it pretty well. You said it start, reminds you of a bunch of uh, Destiny when it first came out. They were just messing up, but it was, like, getting better over time. So, we just got to let them try, continue, and uh, see what happens. But the, the the fun thing, the best thing about this whole thing is that the gameplay itself is solid, and that's what that's what really matters. So I want to continue. Yeah, to play you was because uh, you you played the other Halo games, but yeah, you you yourself would would say that you're not really a Halo person, like nope. multiplayer wise. But you've been you've been playing it a lot. So um, what's what's different? What's different about this one? Um, fluidity, um, speed, um, your the impacts that the the weapons make, and your the velocity of what you can like. Um, I guess I never gave Halo games a real good go, um, but Halo Five, um, I like that one because it simply had a lot of speed to it. And it felt a little bit more, um, you know, like you, you, you can have these these moments of of a heroism or you can have these moments of, you know, uh, succeeding on the other team. I just felt like um, I was seeing those moments happen more often. And it was it wasn't as if um obviously this game is like really focused around it's not really focused around but it's pretty focused around team gameplay like i would want to stay with my team in order to clean up and win i just i guess i got more uh interested and more excited about having team wins versus individual wins because as long as the team won i felt good but then i started getting a decent i started getting decent at the game where i would just be able to get team wins and self wins where i would actually have those moments where i i kill two or three people uh before dying or if i can go around a corner and finesse somebody uh halo infinite has a lot of ability to finesse um it's fun in that way where you can you have that that ability to do it um but you know then there's times where you're just running around a big old map and you just feel like you don't have anywhere to go but to die. But it's just like a mixture of um, both of those. I just think the maps are really good. The gameplay is really good. The fluidity is really good. Um, there's plenty of things to really like about the game to the point where um, all it needed for, for me was to get some more maps. I was sick of playing the front same two maps. Um, before but now we have plenty of maps now so it's not as if i'm getting tired of the gameplay i'm learning a lot i'm playing the maps a lot i'm understanding spawn points it's just really a lot uh to it's not a lot to learn but it's a lot to enjoy about the game as you discover more about okay i can do this i can i can jump slide and, and you know go around this corner i can bounce these grenades off the wall I can, I can really finesse with these grenades if i want to i can finesse with the the grapple hook i can finesse with the um the repulsor so there's so many ways to kind of impact your, your impact make an impact on the team that um i really liked um fiesta the mode even though i didn't like it at first i like it more now because it just gives me the ability to try a bunch of weapons often 
and I don't have to try to wait for his power weapon to show up. It's just the Fiesta mode allows you to constantly spawn with new things to try out. So that helped me get an understanding of what type of weapons are out there, how powerful they are, what they can do, and kind of go from there. So uh, Fiesta was a good way for me to kind of get accustomed to all of the power weapons in the game because there is a feel of, man, I don't know how I just died right there. I don't know how I got killed right there. But now I know because... When I see it, I'll be like, okay, I used that thing before. That mother go crazy. So I understand how he killed me like that. So um, a lot of that, yeah. Fiesta came right at the right moment when I started playing it for real because then I was playing the regular one. I was going off with my pistol, you know, but it got me out of my comfort zone and made me try a lot of other stuff. So when I hear it or see it come on the map, I can be more aware of what it can do. So Yeah. Yeah, um, and I, I don't know what it is if it's the small maps or what, but I feel like the, at least the 4v4 is, is actually pretty fun. Cause like, I would say that we don't, uh, at least I don't really enjoy 4v4 games that yeah. much because it puts like a lot of pressure on you and your team to like stick together and coordinate. Yeah. But I feel like at least what I've been playing so far in Halo, it, we're, we're, I want to say we're necessarily playing as a team, but I am, I'm not leaving, how to put it, like Destiny, you know, I'll run completely on the other side of the map by myself and when mm -hmm. be in their, in their spawn by myself. Whereas like in Halo, I feel like I'm at least on the same side of the map as my team, like I'm staying in their vicinity. So um, I can retreat if I need to, yeah. Yeah, retreat or go help somebody out. Mm -hmm. And, you know, whatever they're doing is, uh, is actually working because all... Most of my matches, you know, every now and then we got might get blown out, but most of my matches is um, pretty close. Like it'd be like forty eight, fifty, because <laughs> yeah. you know once they get past that fifty percent mark, everybody starts slowing down, and they'd be really getting close to like, you know, I gotta make sure I don't die so my team can uh, come back. Come so. back, yeah. It's it's like it it puts you. It has so many indicators of what to do next and what not to do. Like, it'll tell you, okay, we got power weapons on the field. You, you can talk to your teammates, and they got call-outs to say, hey, enemy over here, enemy on me. You don't even have to say anything. It's just like your your character is already calling it out, so I turn around and start looking for him. Or I, I can see indicators of my people's health or, like, the they're in trouble, so they get the exclamation point. So I know that, okay, that's where the fight's at. So I let me, if I want to go help him, I might want to throw a grenade in the backside and try to get some shots off real quick. So it's like it's giving you a lot of information to work with and play with. So you never feel like you're not helping the team, uh, even though you can get swept. I mean, it has happened to me plenty of times where I just got crap, uh, like crapped on a lot. But it was all learning and learning how to be better at the game, how to move around corners, how to position yourself better um, and stuff like that. So it feels fair. Nothing feels cheesy yet. I mean, there's plenty, there's probably going to be something that comes out that feels super cheesy. But right now, everything seems fair. It's like, he outplayed me. I got killed because, obviously, he has a power weapon. Those are fine because it gives you that a sense of that ability to come back and help your team out in a, a large way. Obviously, people with the swords are super annoying. But I've, mm -hmm. me running around with a hammer, I'm pretty sure they don't enjoy Because I'm, I'm guaranteed if I kills with that mug. So, it's not like... Um, it's not like it's not fair. It's just more so about how do you combat that and how do you, um, you know, move around it. So the Halo event, again, what we was wanting to talk about and stay focused on was that it was really just to open my eyes to the Halo universe, I suppose, and um, allow me to kind of get a better understanding of what you do in Halo and how you actually play it. So I'm pretty sure you guys are going to be more familiar once we start playing together. And y'all probably going to be, you know, obviously better than I because I don't play that type of game. But at some point, I'll be able to, um, you know, play on that same type of level or at least understand using previous knowledge because it feels familiar but different at the same time. It feels like Halo 5, but it definitely feels more re re refined, robust, and fluid. So um, it's just like a really refined Halo. So that's what that's what you're playing but uh yeah yeah it was um 
I like the Halo event. Um, anything you want to add, Jalen, Josh, before we move to the next topic? Man, this Halo better be tight, man. That's all I'm saying. Man, what you talking about, man? What's up? Why are you saying? Why are you saying? Numbers. I think it was. Uh, I think it was number one on Twitch for a while. It might still be like top five. Man, that Which, goes crazy. Like that. Which I mean, you know, Halo three four three haven't made a popular Halo game in a long time, and this one is actually popular. So I guess it's pretty good. Yes, yeah, um, it's number seven on Twitch right now. Like right under Apex. Apex is six. Halo is seven. You know that mug. You know that mug gonna cry. You think, man, stop playing. Nah. 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 (laughs) (laughs) What's another free game you got to play? Another free game, man. Another free boy. Look, you ain't even gotta have no Xbox Live for that one. Uh, but but anyways, um, yeah, I mean, I think it's, I think you're going to really enjoy it. Uh, if you don't really enjoy it, you'll like it enough to play it a decent amount of times at least. Uh, what other game? I mean, there's always Splitgate. That's on Game Pass too. I don't think you even tried that yet. Um, but that's, that was pretty fun too. It's definitely not no Halo, but it's fun. Um, but what else? What else do we want to talk about? We want to talk about uh, the Apex map. Oh boy, y'all favorite map. Yeah, Apex map. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Um, what you got to say about that Apex map, man? What you got to say about that, Jalen? What I don't got to say about that map, bro. That map trash. You feel me? (laughs) Not just fun. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's, I mean, I don't know, man. Like, I think the map got its pros and stuff to it, but it got its cons too. Um, I like to play a lifeline, trying to get across open fields. It's like. Still refuse to change his character, guys, but let's hear him out. Go ahead. Yeah, I I, I like lifeline. I mean, to be honest, she, she cool. She Wakanda forever. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) No, nah, but I, I didn't got a dap. I, like, I just like playing the hill drone and stuff like that. I played with other characters before, but um, I just like lifeline, like the like the way she dressed, like all that type of stuff. Like, she cool. Um, but anywho, it's I run into issues sometimes. I'm trying to traverse like large areas because um, in that map there's no like cover or things like that. So now I'm just pretty much like zigzagging and stuff like that. If people are trying to shoot me, it's a lot of snipers in there. Triple take going crazy. Um, so I've been getting lit up by that made me pick up one. I didn't I didn't smacked a couple people with that in the wingman. You know that ring that wingman got that range, you know what I'm saying? You come around here, you will get clapped. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so uh but no, nah, it's that's that's the issue with the level. Um it's a lot of hills and stuff like that and a lot of vegetation. Um you get stuck on a lot of different like geometry or um hills, different huh? yeah, different things that's rendered. I remember one time I was trying to run up this like I don't know, it was like some tree thingy or something like that. I swear, you know, the little branches that protrude from the ground that come out the tree to be like, you know, they say what's up and then they go back in the ground. If I ain't no better, I say I got stuck on one of them. Literally trying to run up the hill to go help my boys and stuff like that. And I'm like, bro, I literally cannot move. Like, you know, in a game, your dude just be running in place and then they start sliding down. Like, you like, yeah, you ain't supposed to be here. Like, I don't... Yeah, I mean, I had those ap- like opp- not opportunities, but circum or Situation. I can't even say the word situations. I was just thinking about this. I was talking to this lady on the phone, and then she used that word at the wrong time, and I was literally thinking about that. But um, she was like, "My bad, I ain't mean to use that word." So, but anywho, that's a little backstory. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I was just talking to Simone about that last night. But um, yeah, I mean, I, I was sliding down a rock and stuff one time, and. It wouldn't let me get up this rock. It was, it was just like weird stuff. I'm just looking like, bro, like I'm literally trying to maneuver and stuff like that. But it's just little weird things that's just like, like holding me back. And I'm just like, can I, um, so I, why am I stuck on this type of stuff? Like this, this, I never had, as much as I hate World's Edge, I never got stuck on anything like that. 
of course, Kings Canyon and Olympus. I never got stuck on anything like that. It's just a lot of stuff going on with the map. I think aesthetically it looks nice. Um, I just have a couple gripes with it that kind of put a damper on the experience. Um, so basically the biggest thing is it's a lot of like geometry on a level. I've been getting stuck on things, sliding off things, stuff like that. And it's kind of putting a issue with my mobility. I will say the, the, it's a great, it's a personal great, but it's because I'm more so stubborn. The whole over, open land and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um, it kind of forced me to use snipers and I can't traverse those large areas as well with lifeline. So I'm not going to really count that as much. It's just kind of like you need to adapt to the environment. Mm-hmm. But the other thing is like when you land into like different areas. So my issue of world's edge is that it got the, sometimes there's scarcity in areas. In this level, there's not scarcity. It's just that the stuff is kind of further apart from each other. Like, there, there's a lot of different places you can loot and stuff. It's just that since the map is so big, I think they tried to stretch some of those areas where things are often dropped at. They tried to split them up and push them a little bit away from each other. So um, I feel like on certain levels, you can pick up a gun and, you know, you can off the person in front of you or you might have to go run up the stairs real quick and grab something. On that level, you might have to just like, hey, I'm about to... Uh, actually go to the next building because I know it ain't that many places here. They're trying to spread everything out a little bit more. Um, mm-hmm. That and then, uh, yeah, I think that was really like the, the biggest the things biggest with two. that level. Yeah, th- those was like the biggest two things. Aside from that opinionated one because I'm just being stubborn. Yeah. I think, um, I think um, my my biggest problem with it right now is just that I don't know the map. That's it. Um, I don't have like a huge issue with adapting to maps and like playing a certain play style in order to, for the map to feel better to play. Um, I just don't know the map just yet. I haven't played it enough. I haven't really spent a lot of time in it, understanding choke points and points to where you want to be at and where you don't want to land and how you want to move the map. All I know now is, is that you want to start high and low. So now all we go is to is high point or we go somewhere that's close to the highest points because I know playing fighting uphill is the worst thing you could possibly ever do. And that is nothing but a huge slope entirely to the bottom. So uh, escape literally is you go to the high part and then you come down to the low. So once we started doing that, we we were getting better games, but we were seeing less people. The map is huge. I don't really know how, and we have an Ash on our team. So Josh usually know main is Ash. Ash and I have usually play Valkyrie. So we have mobility to get around. We just don't see nobody until either the very end or the very beginning. There's no real constant flow of matches. It's kind of hard for us to find matches, and once we do find them, it's usually all over. Or uh, we're we're third partying, or um, we are still seeking like somebody, and it's taking forever to kind of catch up with someone. So, my biggest gripe right now is honestly, I just don't know the map. Second thing is that I feel like it's just a little too big. Um, if it was if it was smaller, I think it would be a lot more fun. I think everybody having that to play around this whole slope, entire slope thing would be awesome to see um, because it just makes you play differently. It makes you feel differently as you're moving down. It's like, that's a real choke point. You you making choke points your entire slide down. If you slide down a hill and then you got to turn back around and try to shoot somebody, you have made yourself, you made yourself a choke. Like that you are now at a disadvantage. So Playing off of that, I would love to see that. Like, just an entire map. Just three lanes. Nothing but slopes. <laughs> that would probably be more interesting than what we got right now. That's what they were trying to make. It's just so huge that sometimes it just feels like nobody's around. And you're just traversing to try to traverse. So, we'll see. As we continue to play, as people get more familiar, um, obviously people are having great games on it. So, I'm assuming they know where people are and how people are moving around the map. Um, it's just getting familiar with that and really starting to understand our patterns and our routes to get to the fights and get to the fights fast, as well as to, you know, get in and out of engagements and be safe. Because really, it's it's a lot about being safe, 
there's a lot of about being able to get, engage fights in the correct way. And then there's also about the advantage points. So understanding that map and how that flows. Like sometimes we will really go off. We have some really good matches simply because we were all, you know, hitting on all cylinders and people were just lining up where we needed them to be as we were flowing through the map. That's, that's when it really feels good to play the map. Um, and that's why I say I don't hate it because... I've had good map matches on it. I've had terrible matches on it. I have decent matches on it. I have nobody's around matches on it. So and it's not like you, you're only getting one type of situation. Like World's Edge, I'm never going to get one type of situation. I can make that one type of situation all the time, though. If I'm going to want, if I want to get into an engagement immediately, just drop Fragment. If I don't want to, I go somewhere else. I go somewhere where nobody usually drops. And that's usually where you'll just run into, you know, nothing. And then you can loot up and you probably run around for 10 minutes and then maybe you lose your first engagement. That's a stupid way to play the game, but people do that. I, on my one hand, I enjoy engagements that feel good and also give you the ability to move around and get away and escape. Um fragment i feel that way because there's so many buildings there's so many outlets there's so many ways to move around and get away from your enemy and and you know finesse um i don't see that yet in storm point but that's just because i don't know the map once i know the map once i'm familiar with it once i feel like i can engage and disengage in a in a, in a fluid way um obviously valkyrie is going to be a you know very important piece of that puzzle um, a movement character has to be played on this map. It's just too large. Most of the size of the engagements, you're going to have long range engagements. It's not like it's all short range. You have to be able to try to close the distance or retreat quickly. So that's what you need a character that can move for. Obviously, I don't see that ever changing for Jalen. I just think Jalen getting more familiar with the map to be able to conduct his same play style as he normally does. So. That's the difference, um, and that's why I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say it's a terrible map. I would say I just need to learn it more, and um, kind of go from there. Uh, but yeah, that's my opinion on said map. What you got for us, Shane, uh, Josh? What you thinking about that map? Yeah, most of the same points. Um, I think is, I think there are a lot of there's some potential in a lot of the different areas. Uh, it's a lot of variety um that that is cool um but i feel like i don't know the the game doesn't flow well like you say like it's best to jump high and then go low because one you're not at a disadvantage because you're not gonna be downhill fighting people and we've experienced that firsthand yeah but it doesn't feel like it's like you say it lanes it doesn't feel like going to the top is going to lead you down a path that's yeah. necessarily going to meet somebody because you might go down the you know the right path but everybody's on the left and it takes a long time to get to the other side like you can use those mm -hmm. jump um pad things but they they launch you in specific directions like it's not a free aim situation like the jump tower where you can go everywhere yeah. you want so that's the that's the problem um that we we know where the fights are we're just trying to get there and once we, once we get there they're gone and then once we do get in the fight now it's seven teams in the same area because everybody <laughs> then just spent the last five minutes coming to this area so yeah um it's not like but there. i feel like yeah like you said a lot of that is going to come from learning uh learning not necessarily changing our play style but learning what's good and what's not good to do on these type of maps um yeah the only thing that i can say that i i don't like um which is different than king's canyon because king's canyon has a lot of hills and slopes and mountains but it wasn't really a, a issue for me especially if you had like a movement character you can reposition but this map like they it has really 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 tall grass and like sometimes we we be in the middle of a field and there's somebody standing right next to us and i can't see them because of the grass and i don't <laughs> There's nothing you can do to change that. Like we obviously we own Xbox. The resolution is high as it can go. Uh, you can't turn down the foliage. I don't know why they did that. And it's not it's not like where other games where they have grass 
but like it still shows you the other character behind it like maybe they highlight it or the grass mm-hmm. becomes like transparent so you can see through it like no it's just somebody in the grass and they wearing green and <laughs> i can't see them and they didn't see me and then all of a sudden we all right next to each other <laughs> yep yeah it's a um it's interesting because um and one thing that I can say, at least they tried and they, they, they didn't like it. It's not terrible. Um, uh, is the wildlife. Um, it's not terrible, but it's not like the greatest set method either. It's a way for you to get higher stuff, but it's kind of like, you know, positioning yourself out. If people use that more like they were doing at the beginning when storm point originally arrived, we would probably be able to run into engagements more, but because nobody is actually utilizing the methods that they use to kind of call out to that there's teams nearby, you really just are running around by yourself. Like nobody's fighting those things no more, you know, because it's just not, it's not ad, advantageous. It's like, it's a, it's a nuisance and you can lose your, you can lose your ability to sneak up on someone else. And that's why we're kind of getting these late, less than, um, less than um optimal experiences when we're fighting people because it's just everybody's waiting for gunshots everybody's running to those gunshots now you got six teams at these gunshots what you're going to do now how are you going to how are you going to continue to rotate and make good decisions when you're not necessarily a movement character how do you want to make good decisions to get out you're not you're going to be you're going to either have to bunker down somewhere or you're going to have to retreat and retreat hard and most of the time that just means no fights so it's really about how we position ourselves how we can become better at you know engaging and and fighting more multiple teams um because we have to be able to be make a decision okay this team to the left that's who we want to go engage with and then we're going to engage the next team that comes next. But then how do we get faster at, you know, swapping gear and making sure we're prepared for the next battle? Because most of the time we win the first engagement. It's the second team that comes through and, time to, and kind of ruins it. So, um, Or that's... it could be like that last game we had when we is we whooped, we whooped like two, we whooped two or three teams. And then like the other is two other teams that just converged on us from both ends. And it was just like, all yeah. right, bro. Yeah, I mean, I mean that happens too. It's not, it's not, not saying that we, that doesn't happen because that's what we we're used to it on um, World's Edge, and we have more, we have more success because we know where to be and how to be, and we know where to position and how to get out of said positions. So, obviously, we are, we love going on Fragment and we love staying on the tower. You know, the king, uh, king of the hill. And remember, me and you, we, we were just. We were up there by ourselves, just me and you fighting off multiple teams because because we knew how to play it. So it's just getting used to it again and, you know, getting familiar with it and really understanding our 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 um, our solutions to how we beat multiple teams. Our solutions and on that map, number. it's hard to do that because like Fragment, like most of the time we in the buildings and yeah. save for a couple buildings, they're only like only a couple ways that people can get in the building. Like they're gonna fly yeah. on top, they're gonna come up the stairs and come up the zip line. So between y'all two, y'all can work together to cover those points. Whereas on this map, every building is gonna have five entrances or you're just gonna be out in the open where if there's six teams, like we're dead center of all six teams and no way to like defend against yeah. it. So I if we go on do that, we would have to find like what's the best place to, uh, you know, get these fights in, and we can hold down this location. It might be that one building. I forget the name of the building, but um, it's like under a mountain or something. But basically, I always see a bunch of skulls over there, so I know a lot of people are fighting there. I just don't know if it's best to drop there or drop outside and then go inside. Mm-hmm. So yeah. yeah, it's just getting familiar with a area that's hot because then once we get familiar with that area, we can really engage in a lot of different ways. Um, but yeah, I, I think, I think, yeah, I'll go ahead. Sorry. Uh, I was just going to say, uh, Josh had brought up an interesting point that I really didn't take into consideration. Um, 
just the whole idea of those those little launch pad thingies rather than jump towers, I think that changed a lot of the dynamic too because I didn't I honestly didn't realize that. I think I kind of caught on to it a little bit at first and then it kind of just like dissipated. Like you can't change your direction and all those things always lead to another launch pad so you can only go back and forth so you can't really like go get that vantage point and or not get that vantage point but get that high point to figure out where you really want to go if that makes sense and i think that kind of creates a more of a linear path within a map so i don't know why they did that yeah. honestly because the jump towers should... like on world's edge like we would used to get on top of those buildings with like oh the ring is about to close in and there's one corner of this building that's going to be in the ring so let's check, take the jump tower to get up there and you can't do that on this map unless you have a valkyrie or a uh you know um pathfinder but even still like this map is so huge like their abilities can only take you so far <laughs> where is yeah yeah like i think it would have been cool if they just put some if they wanted to make people use the launch pass a little more, that's cool. But they should have put a couple more jump towers on a map just to just to relocate faster and change the dynamic and do and erase a little bit of like the I'm about to make up a word linear C um, <laughs> <laughs> of the level because I felt like those launch pass they so linear like you can't even like really juke people on them. Like it's cool that you launch off of them fast because mm-hmm. you know oftentimes when you used to be on a jump tower you'd be spinning on the most like. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to slide to the top of the boat. <laughs> um, you know what I'm saying? And go off somewhere. But, but you know, once you fall off, you was pretty much good. Unless I think it was one time I seen somebody get shot and they died <laughs> in midair. But uh, but they had just launched off it. Um, but anywho, like, yeah, just being able to fly off and go any direction you want. You know, having that Not versus... the move, yeah. Yeah, you just shoot straight. Like you, even if you shoot straight, it ain't like you can do something like a a time jump or like a a second octane double jump, like to mm-hmm. change your direction. You just flying over there. So like I remember one time y'all died over there, and I was just like, or it might have been I was just playing with Josh, died over there, and I was just like, well, I don't know what I'm supposed to do next. Like I can shoot back over there. Or they gonna shoot over here? Like you know what I mean? Versus like mm-hmm. taking a jump tower and like trying to dip and relocate and stuff like that. It wasn't. You know, I don't know. Yeah. I just so, thought those launch pads wasn't that that innovative. It was kind of didn't kinda, add much to the took, Yeah, it took a little bit, took a step back. But um, I understand what they were trying to do with them. I think there's a lot of non-movement character, and that's a pretty huge map. So they need to figure out a way to get people around the map without having to always rely on the movement character to be on a team. That makes sense. It helps create those spaces where they can move around quickly um and then there's creating routes for non-movement characters that's always a good way to you know being able to move around the map without having to have a movement character on team but what we have is a lot of freedom we don't have to move around in a particular way every time because we have ash and we have valkyrie so we can reposition and in a drop of a hat if we need to so it's really just getting us down packed to what we want to do and how we want to move. Now, the, the the bad and good thing about those being stuck to a certain path is that when they stuck to a certain path, it forces everybody to go that same way. So say, for instance, they have the other lane shooting towards that one area and then they have another lane shooting towards that one area. At some point, the chokehold spot is supposed to make you run into the next team. That's why those things are there. They're supposed to create moments where you're running into another team. But again, players don't play maps how they design them. So they're being underutilized. They're being utilized as only escape goats versus actually movement. They're not using them to move around a map. It's too loud. It's too, it's too, it gives you way too much. It gives away too much information. So they're not using it for that. They're only using it when they're trying to get away from somebody else. And that's most of the time you you you, you come to you kind of tend to create them as oh these ain't nothing but scapegoats. They ain't really you mean mean used for me to kind of get around the map and move around and try to get to another engagement quickly. Because once I do that, somebody on the other side of me can hear them like okay they over here let's go run to them. So it's causing that it's causing an effect of third partying. Even though it was supposed to be something that caused 
third parties to not have it. That's why the map was so big. So the map is flawed in its design overall because when you play something and you make something for a people, most of the time they don't like it and they are tr they are treated in a different way than what you think. So it's really just t getting the getting the developers on board on how to change it and how to how are we how are they using it now and how can we amplify that and then how can we make the map better so where people you know are running into each other more so they're that's, that's... good at like um blowing stuff up and changing it it's just gonna be a long time for storm point so um yeah i feel like if they just took out split up the map you know yeah like even if they wanted to rotate like half the map every hour, just cut it in half, and I feel like that that would help. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, Olympus is definitely like two of them, so it'll work. I think Olympus has like a very good movement around the map in general, um, so it feels as if you're always able to get somewhere in a in a good amount of time. It's not like you're going to be slowed down. Um, so it's always, and then there's a lot, plenty of, you know, it's, it's a circle. So air, it's plenty of ways to run into another team. And if you don't want to run into that team in that way, you can go around the back way and more likely you're going to still run into that team. So it's always been that way with Olympus. It always felt like, okay, there's not really much you can, there's not really many places you can go to get away from me. If, if I, if I, if I continue to run down this path, I'm more than likely going to find somebody to the left or right of me versus on this map. You don't know what you're going to find because there's just so much extra space. So, uh, it's just, it's just trying to find that balance, get better at it and, um, go on from there. But, uh, that's pretty much all the time we have this week. I know we kind of talked about a few things, but um, we have more topics, more stuff for you guys in the future. Obviously, we're going to keep doing these. Um, we're trying to do them on a more regular, you know, time basis, but we'll see. I ain't, I ain't gonna, don't hold me to it, but <laughs> we'll see. Uh, but uh, I want to thank you guys for listening um, and I appreciate you, especially if you got this far. Uh, Jalen, Josh, do y'all got anything last words before we get up out of here? Man, I'll hold y'all breath. That Xbox might be gone quick faster <laughs> than I heard. Man, don't listen to that man. He over there talking nonsense. That's that nonsense again. But uh, I don't know. I, I just know we about to have some fun playing Halo. <laughs> exactly. Jalen, Jalen made my my winter break. This is. <laughs> Man, man, man y'all see, see how much they love me, man. Right. man they look, come over and play with the game. What is that? Man, all right, man, I'm going to come over there, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, I told you I'm my birthday present. I said, boy, I said, you're doing it well for me than you. I said, I appreciate you, King. I appreciate you. <laughs> he was like, man, I ain't trying to do it. As soon as he, I was like, we was, we was going through a transaction. I hit the spin. I said, like, oh, yeah. Man, you funny, I was screaming. I said, "Come on, man! It ain't that bad." It's that man, man, my car was gonna get ran, bro, for something I ain't really want. I'm like, man, I could have lost some kicks with this one. Uh, I was looking at more dunks. I'm like, man, them Korean dunks still look kind of cold. I'm just oh might my have god. to get them. Oh my god, man! You got two pair of feet. You got two feet, bro. No, no, you got hey. two foot, not two feet. It's feet plural or singular. I think it's foot. You got two you got foots. <laughs> I don't know how I go. You got, a, you got a pair of feet, man. You got a pair of feet. Yeah, you got one pair of feet, man. You good. You don't need that many Man, shoes. I know you ain't talking. You be picking up three guns, can only shoot one at a time. And me and Josh like, hey, man, what you, you want us to punch him or you want us to help you out or, or you want us man, to go get a gun? I so I know I it's three up. on blood. I always pick up a good gun and a sorry one just for y'all. What are you talking about? Now you didn't switch it up before. You yeah. used to leave us all the time. And then yeah. I say this a thousand times. You would pick up three guns. You would cheat. You would hack the game so you can pick man, up three guns and stop the two. cap. And then only could shoot one at a time, and me and Josh got good hands. I'm like, yeah, our, our hands rated E for everyone, but I mean, they got guns. I don't know how much damage they're gonna do, but we we got these thirty damage hands for these these, Stop these the cats. Cap. Stop the cap. <laughs> what you want us to do, Deontay? You want us to punch him again? All right, bet. <laughs> yeah, my bad, bro. He aired me out, man. <laughs>
He yeah, aired whatever. me out, dog. Yeah, whatever. Could have shared that Mozambique with us. Whatever, whatever. Yeah. Uh, man, you think you can uh, share one of those guns? <laughs> can we <laughs> take turns? <laughs> yeah, can we take turns, bro? Man, you can't use that, that gun shit on your back, bro. I'm like, man. I know uh, Wova got the buns, but dang, I'm like, man, we ain't trying to put the gun on the buns, bro. Just gotta see it. <laughs> I always I'm, share the wealth. I don't care what y'all are talking about. Man, now you do, bro. We had to. It just took us to get aired out about 50 times. <laughs> see us throwing our hands, fighting for our life with our hands, man. Yeah, whatever. Picking up all the guns. <laughs> I'm like, dang, how many body shields you need, bro? You need three of them? We got one. Yeah, whatever. I don't do none of that stuff. That's all cap, people. I'm a great sportsmanship. I show great sportsmanship during the games. I always share. That's all that is to it. But I want to thank y'all for listening, as always. Uh, you can always find it wherever you find your podcast, of course. And you can always find the video version on my YouTube channel at BCD Universe. Uh, thanks for listening. Talk to you guys next time. What is that? Two weeks from now? Two weeks from now, people. Peace.